I'm Tanya Soule. I'm an assistant professor in the Department of Biology at IPFW, and I'm a microbiologist, but more specifically, I work on molecular biology of bacterial stress responses and a little bit of microbial ecology. For my PhD, I actually looked at the the genes that were responsible for producing the sunscreen that these bacteria could make to survive in UV stress. And that is where what I'm continuing on with now. So um, in my graduate work, we looked at the genes that invo are involved in making the sunscreen. And now I'm looking more at the genes involved in regulating that. So what is sensing the UV and how is the cell responding to the UV and ultimately to produce that sunscreen? So. The, the next step of that was when I started comparing the genes from one organism to another of the genes that are involved in making the sunscreen, I noticed there was this high conservation of these genes that are known for regulation also very close, actually adjacent to this gene cluster. So I picked up on that and I just had two graduate students graduate last May. Um, so Judy Naren actually worked on deleting one of those genes and did show that if you remove that gene, you cannot make the sunscreen. So that was very exciting. And we just submit that paper literally two days ago. Very exciting. And the other student, um, Jacob Jansen, he looked at the gene expression of these regulator genes. So we're like, if we think these genes are involved, and UV stress, then let's see if they actually respond to UV stress. So we looked at if those genes are turned on, essentially. Um, and he saw that they were turned on under UV stress, different types of UV stress, under high light, but not under oxidative stress, which is related, but it's not a light stress. Um, and so that paper was also submitted a couple weeks ago. And so those are my two graduate students that have finished. Um, and then undergraduates are involved in a variety of other aspects of the project. So another extension of this work is to look at how those biosynthetic genes, the genes that are involved in making it but not necessarily regulating the sunscreen, are responding to different stresses. Because on my PhD, I only looked at how those genes respond to ultraviolet radiation. And so Janine Bennett, an undergraduate in my lab, is looking at highlight, oxidative stress, different types of ultraviolet radiation to see if those are inducing expression of those genes. Um, and then another student, uh, Dexter Scheip and Justin Lothamer, have been working on the association between the sunscreen and the slime layer, which, um, because they're both um, outside of the cell, where we're, our question was, does the slime and does the sunscreen, uh, are they produced or regulated together? And uh, the, the conclusion is actually um, a little murkier than that. It wasn't as straightforward as we had hoped, but we did see some relationships, so that paper was also submitted for publication. So we have a lot of undergraduates and graduate students on research papers out of uh, the projects they've been doing in my lab, so it's very exciting. So I am definitely um, interested in looking at the regulation of the genes involved in the sunscreen. We're looking at different ways to look at the relationship of the regulation with those genes and the biosynthesis of the actual proteins. So some of that's involving some work with proteins. Other is looking at gene expression. We're also going to be using the mutant that cannot make uh, the sunscreen and we're going to look at how everything else in the cell may be affected by that inability. Um, and then I also have, um, going back to my graduate work, I worked in um, the desert ecosystem. And part of my training actually was to look at microbial communities in the soils on the desert. And so I actually have some students that are um, working on looking at the soils at the Indiana Dune State Park. And we're using some of the latest and greatest sequencing technologies and um, we're able to look at those communities and compare them to the more uh, well-studied arid deserts versus a dune soil. So those are some of the new things that we're doing. 